Victor Hugo once said, music expresses that which cannot be said and on which it is impossible to be silent. So music is super important to your videos and your channel. Just look at the difference between the exact same clip with two different sets of music. Dreaming about the things that we could be. Baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. As you can see, music matters. In this video, we're going to learn about how to find music that you can use and also how to avoid copyright strikes. Let's get to it. Now you'd think it'd be simple to find a piece of music that you want and then use it in your video. However, it's not that simple at all. Music licensing is very complex. Basically what you need is royalty free music. That means that each time your video plays, you don't have to pay a royalty on the music you use in it. As you can see in this Google search for royalty free music, there's lots of places to get it. However, most of the time you're going to be paying for it. A great place to use if you want to pay for your royalty free music is to use Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle is part of the Invato marketplace. They sell everything from WordPress themes to code to audio to graphics. They have lots of great sounds and their prices are pretty reasonable. However, there's a great place to get royalty free music for free and that place is SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a social network where bands and artists will post their music. What's great about them is that when you post it, you can also set the license. And many people nowadays are posting their music with a Creative Commons license, specifically with a Creative Commons license that allows for commercial use. Let's see how we can find all that music right now. So search for a track. Let's say you want a track that is happy. Right now you're searching for everything. You want to filter it down to only tracks. And then you want to change this to listen to, to, to use commercially. Every single one of these pieces of music is something that you can use commercially for free. You just have to download it. Now you can listen to a few of them and see what you like. We like that one. Let's hit download. And we now have music we can use inside of our video. But you need to be careful. Not all tracks posted as Creative Commons really are. You gotta use your judgment. If you see the latest Beyonce track as Creative Commons, it's probably that someone took it and uploaded it as Creative Commons, but you still don't have permission to use it. If you do, you might get a copyright strike. Let's talk about what copyright strikes are and how to avoid them. A copyright strike happens when YouTube gets a formal, complete, legal request to take down some content. By law, they have to do it, and then they put a strike on your account. Basically what they're saying is, someone who owns the copyright to either the video or the audio that you used in your video has asked for them to take it down. They call it copyright strikes because it's like baseball. Three strikes and you're out. Your account is terminated and that Google account can no longer create a new YouTube account. That's bad. We don't want that to happen. It also is bad because when you do get a copyright strike, your account goes into bad standing and you lose access to certain features on YouTube. The good news is, is copyright strikes do expire after six months if you complete what they call copyright school. The bad news is, they do not go away if you delete the video. It's kind of bad to get a copyright strike. You can get over it, but it kind of throws a wrench in your plans. So let's learn how to avoid getting copyright strikes. The first rule of thumb is obviously only ever use music that you create. With GarageBand on the iPad and the Mac, you can actually create with the loop some pretty good music. If you just need a little bit of filler music for the intro the outro, you can make it yourself. But obviously not all of us can make music. That's where the marketplaces for royalty free music come in. You can buy wonderful music made by musicians with explicit permission to use it in your videos. If you want to save money, you can also find royalty free music for free on SoundCloud. Since it is sometimes hard to trace the owner of the music sometimes, I actually upload all of my videos to a test account to make sure they don't get any copyright issues before I upload them to my main account. It takes twice as long, but you save yourself a lot of headache in the future. Now we need to cover one final thing. There's a difference between a copyright strike and a copyright notice. Go to your YouTube channel and go to your creator studio and then click on copyright notices. This will show you all the videos that have a copyright notice. You can see right here this one match third party content. Click on this to find out what it means. So what this means is, their copyright content was found in the video. The claimant is allowing their content to be used on YouTube videos, but they monetize it. So ads will appear on it, but you won't get any of the money. If you're okay with that, you don't need to do anything about it. And there are lots of different types of copyright claims, and YouTube actually has a very helpful guide that helps you understand them. So go to the Copyright Tracks Basic and click on the Understanding Copyright Claims link. This will give you all the different things that can happen to your video. You can click on them to see the different options. For example, mine said match third party content. It tells you what it means and how to check out the claim details. 
Some types of copyright claims are worse than others. It's worth your time to check out all the different types of claims, because copyright owners can enforce their claims in totally different ways. Some might be totally cool with using it on YouTube and just will monetize it for you. Some will block it and that'll resort in a copyright strike. You need to familiarize yourself with these types of things and always be careful. Don't use stuff you don't have permission to. So in this video we learned about music and copyright. We learned about where to get music, how to avoid strikes, and a little bit about the different copyright claims. Remember, the best rule of thumb is only use stuff you know you have permission to use and upload to a test account just to make sure. Thanks for watching.